Hi, everybody. Dr. Neil here. That's fucking weird. Episode what? Eight? Yeah, eight. Episode eight. We're going to do fuel handler today. What is a fuel handler? A fuel handler allows you to specify items of your own that work as fuel. Easy. Right? Um... Yeah. Let's get into it. Uh, Eclipse. We're going to create an item that is going to be our fuel. That's going to be the first thing that we do. Pretty straightforward. If I do say so myself. Get into our main modding class. Um, that is going to be public. Static. Item. Item. Tree. Pitch. We are going to make tree pitch. In the future when we get into biome generation and stuff like that we're going to create our own custom trees and we're going to have special trees that drop tree pitch when you you know uh, chop them down. But in the meantime we'll put the cart before the horse. We'll make the tree fit pitch now. Right. So uh, we declared the item. Let's initialize it. Item tree pitch equals new nc items dot dot set oh, I really want to like let this do its thing so that way I don't have to type the damn thing out again all the time tree pitch useless useless I say I should have just typed it out tree pitch now let's register the item game registry dot um, register item and this is going to be item tree pitch tree pitch I've already created the texture for it yeah so it's YouTube guys you can pause it you can go create your own texture it ain't no thing um, Let's jump in and check it out. Chickity check. Check it out. Check it out though. Let's see my tree pitch. Drinking an energy drink today. I'm drinking a Nas energy drink. And they taste like grapefruit juice. Now, I don't know whether or not that's a good thing. Um, there's a spider. Don't like spiders. Mr. Frodo. Die, biatch. What the fuck are you doing up in the tree? Thanks for the foods. Anyways, so I'm drinking Nas. Normally I drink Rockstar. I like Rockstar. I don't like Monsters. I don't like Amp. Any of that. So I'm drinking a Nas today. Why? Because it was two for three bucks now, 7 Eleven. It tastes like grapefruit juice, and I, you know, I don't know whether I'm impressed or whether I enjoy it. I like grapefruit juice. Um, I don't know how I feel about having breakfast, you know, because an energy drink is usually my breakfast. Fill up my cup here a little bit. While I'm doing that, let's get in. Um, we actually need to change our game mode uh, back to one. Let's get in and look at our tree pitch. There you have it. So the tree pitch, we are going to actually make that into a fuel. We can put that into a vanilla furnace and it will cook stuff. So we're going to get into some of the uh, some of the vanilla code and we're going to have a look at that. Ah, tasty. So let's do that. Um, the reason that I want to get into the vanilla code is because I want you to be able to see minecraft.net.buck dot furnace 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 furnace. I want you to see what the values are, right, of these different fuels. So we're going to scroll down through this code until we get to 
what is the method? Ah, you know what? It's not in the block class. It's actually in the tile entity class. My bad. So net dot Minecraft dot tile entity tile entity furnace. Cool. That's like get item fuel. Something like that. Scrolling, 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 more scrolling, more scrolling. Get item burn time. So here we can see that a block of coal returns 16,000 material dot wood, 300, wooden slab, 150. So one coal is equal to 1,600. So we, in terms of balance, we want to find out, hey, well, what is tree pitch? How abundant is tree pitch? Will you go cut down a tree? There it is. So what we'll do is we'll actually say that ours is worth uh, 800. But here you'll see blaze rod, a lava bucket, so on and so forth, what each of these is worth. So let's get in. Uh, we've created our item. Let's get in and actually create our fuel handler. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom back up to our stuff. And under Neocraft, we are going to do a new class. And we are going to name this, easily enough, fuel handler. Um, and we're actually, let's do this, let's put it under the handler, because we're going to have a GUI handler later. Yep, handler. Okay, so our fuel handler is actually going to implement some vanilla code called iFuel handler. And we're going to go ahead and import that. And we're going to have some methods that we need. And this is really straightforward, right? So um, we're going to use an if statement here. So if fuel dot get item equals our tree pitch, Neil Craft. <laughs> item tree pitch right we are going to return 800 like so that's it that's all we got to do let's get in and check it out oh I got a cat underneath my feet silly animal all right, so let's get in. Let's give ourselves furnace. And, oh, we need to give ourselves some tree pitch. So let's do that. Tree pitch, like so. We're going to give ourselves some manganese, like so. We're going to drop the manganese in. We're going to drop the tree pitch in. And nothing happens. Well, crap. Well, why not? Ah, we got to register it. Let's go and do that. Let's register our fuel handler. You want anything to show up in game, you got to register it, right? All right. I mean, really, come on. Come on, dude. Um, and this we're actually going to put in our regular event rather than our pre-initialization. So we will go to our main modding class. We're actually going to come down to here. And we are going to have something along the lines of game. Yeah. Game registry dot register fuel handler. And it will be new fuel handler spelled correctly just like so let's import it from neocraft.mod.handler like so and that's actually coming over here and referencing and saying hey tree pitch is cool I don't know if it's cool I think it's cool 
you think it's cool. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video, right? Back in. What do you want to bet things are cooking? Nope, not cooking. I took them out. Now they're cooking. So tree pitch is now... Oh man, i got to get in there and tune up those names. Manganese ingot. Sweet. So we've created our own fuel. And what you can do is you can create all kinds of different fuel, fuels, right? So our tree pitch just does 800. Based upon the rarity of it, maybe you wanted to do... Like you could go find coal, right? And that's 1,600 you could put in your own block like anthracite right specific type of coal or maybe maybe you want oh i don't know this your own fantasy fuel that you want to put in that works for even longer or maybe you want to take cool coal and put it into a machine later on to reprocess it to make it even more efficient right to refine it um, and really all you need to do is just come into that fuel handler and add an if statement saying essentially if the fuel right whatever is in that particular machine equals that item return the amount and we'll talk more about what this amount means in relation to the furnace when we get in and start building our own custom furnace so there you have it that's pretty straightforward quick episode your own custom fuels I'll get that out of the language in the meantime Thanks for stopping by. Like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions. I'm here for you if you need any help. And uh, y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.